UPSC entrance exam results are out and it's women on top. Once again, IAS stopper Tina Darby has, uh, is on, uh, has topped the list. She's in fact with us live. Let's go across to her. Tina, congratulations. How does it feel to top the top exams? It feels unbelievable. I feel ecstatic. Tina, can you hear me? Yes, hello. Yes, Tina, congratulations. Your first reaction, what does it feel like to top the civil services exam? It feels incredible. I am extremely happy. And Tina, how many hours were you studying in a day? Would you like to share any tips with people who are IS aspirants? A lot of students come to Delhi every year and spend uh, lakhs of, uh, lakhs of uh, rupees trying to enroll in coaching institutions. Any tips you'd like to share with them? Well, a lot of hard work goes into it, obviously. Uh, but there's no specified time limit in which you have to study for each day. But how many hours in a day were you studying? What was your regime like? Well, it like? depends. For instance, if the exam is next day, so I did study for 10 hours, 12 hours. Okay. But then I guess on an average 8 hours. Average 8 hours. And uh, yeah. Tina, why is it that uh, women usually top these uh, tough uh, competitive exams? If you, if you look at IIT, if you look at... Uh, you know, your, your MBBS entrance exams and for the last couple of years, even the civil services exam. How is it that women are uh, emerging as stoppers in all these tough tests? No, no, I believe that's totally a matter of chance and anybody who would work hard would get it through. All right, Tina, thanks so much for speaking to India Today. Tina Darby has stopped the UPSC entrance exam. The results were declared about five minutes ago. A total of 1,078 candidates appeared for the UPSC exam, 499 from the general category, 314 from other backward classes, 176 from the scheduled caste, 89 from scheduled tribes. Darby has topped the test, followed by Jammu and Kashmir's Athar Amir Al Shafi Khan and Delhi's Jasmeet Singh Sandhu. We have Tina with us live. Uh, Tina, tell us a little bit about your background. What did uh, you, you're from Delhi, I believe? What all have you studied? What were your, what were, uh, where did you do your graduation from and your postgrad? Uh, well, uh, it's my first attempt. I am only 22 years old. You're 22 uh, years old? Yes, I'm 22. This is my first attempt. Okay. Uh, I am a graduate in political science from Lady Sri Ram College, New Delhi. Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, I don't know, I just got out of college. I wanted to prepare for this exam and it's actually unbelievable that I made it through in the first attempt and that to first rank. This is absolutely bri brilliant, Tina. I'm also a pass out from LSA. What are the subjects that you have in your graduation? A political science. Oh, that's wonderful. And did you have any other friends who are preparing for the civil services exam? Yes, yes, tons of friends. <laughs> and have any of them cleared? Uh, well, I, I just got to know my own result. I haven't been able to talk to anybody. It's, uh, everything is just going past in a rush. <laughs> I can imagine. And I guess you're going to be one of the youngest civil uh, uh, civil servants in the country now. I am very excited and just waiting for the experience to start, ready to learn. <laughs> okay, and one last question. What do you want to choose? Will you choose uh, the foreign services, the civil serv uh, or, or IAS or uh, IPS? Uh, Indian Administrative Services, IAS. All right, Tina, congratulations once again. Thanks so much for speaking to India today.